I'm a loser, people. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get that out of the way. You know, 36, not married. I sleep on a futon. You know, my back hurts. It's awful. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. People, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? What's it like, three out of four marriages go right down the drain now? People, if you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't going to open, you'd be like, yo, forget it, I'm not going. I don't like those odds. I'm just kidding, people. You know what? I'll get married. I'll get married the day I see a married guy who actually, like, looks happy. You know what I mean? Because every time you see a married dude, anytime you ask him what it's like being married, they always tell you it's good, but they have a look on their face like they have, like, an appendicitis. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. You're like, yeah, you know, so what's it like being married? They're like, you know, it's good. It's good. <laughs> no, it's good. You know, it's a lot of work, but, uh, you know, it's good. You know, when you, meet, when you meet the right person and, you know, it starts to click, you know, it's definitely, it's a good thing. I, you know, I enjoy it. You'll meet that person. You know when you know. I can't feel my legs. No, you know when you know. It's definitely, it's a good thing. Just to... I love women, though. This is my deal. I love women, but you know what I'm finding? I'm not compatible with them. You know? I'm serious. Women have, like, too much energy for me. That's what I've noticed, you know? Like, you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just, like, see that open day. They're like, oh, my God, let's go fill it up with some stuff. No, and then they just come at you with one horrible idea after another. Horrible ideas like, you want to make some sandwiches and go to the park? <laughs> no, <laughs> every one of their ideas involves like walking around, like looking at stuff. It's almost like they're trying to wear you down. <laughs> after like two or three stores, you're like leaning on stuff. Ah, I don't care. Just buy something. I don't care. <laughs> You know what the worst one is? You ever get that one? You want to go to brunch? You want to go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, no! But you can't say that. You got to keep them happy, right? So what do you do? You're like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? Now nah, you're thinking. Now nah, you're thinking. Then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs. Like, is that pesto? Is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. I thought it was pesto. Oh, you just want to flip the whole table over and just run out of there. So... I was dating this girl recently. This girl's like really like into like women's issues. <laughs> she got me this book on women's lib one time, right? So I'm reading this thing. I think women's lib was a great thing. Like back in the 70s, I thought it was cool, you know? Over the last couple of years though, I think that whole woman's movement, it's really starting to morph into kind of like this reverse pimping kind of thing, you know? Because every time you see them on TV, they always say, all we want is to be treated exactly like guys, right? But if you listen to them, they don't. They only want the good stuff of being a guy. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet. <laughs> like you just can start picking out stuff, like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie, that's okay, you can keep that one, I don't like that one. <laughs> this is nice, that's yucky, that's icky. I mean, come on people, you can't choose. This girl gave me a rough time one time, she goes, well why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some screwed up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. No, that's why I get the dollar more an hour. You know, if there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I gotta stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go people, let's go, let's go. So that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. Seriously, that if something screwed up happens, either I can't leave or I gotta like get in the way of it to give you a head start, like rabbit dog, run honey, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> you hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out, like yes, he does have a knife.
No, I don't. I don't think a woman should make a doll less than an hour to do the exact same job, okay? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is if you're going to make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listening to that guy play the cello. <laughs> then you get the corner office. I don't got a problem. You get all the benefits. That's why I didn't like that movie, The Titanic. You know? You know what I hate about that movie? Every girl I meet thinks that movie's romantic. Like, oh my God, that was so romantic, don't you think? No! <laughs> It was a horror film. And they're always like, why? Why? Because all the guys die. See, you're sitting there watching it going, who would I be in that scenario? You be that chick floating away in the big piece of luggage. I'm watching it going, who would I be? I'd be that dude when like the boat breaks in half, that dude who like falls straight down, bangs off the stuff and goes into the water. That's who I'd be. I'd be wearing a tuxedo, not because I wanted to, but you wanted to dress up that night, right? And I'd just be falling the whole way down. I should have humped that chicken.